How should your company respond to the recent return of the polio virus in New York and London? I'm Edward Siegel, author of the best-selling book, Crisis Ahead, 101 Ways to Prepare for and Bounce Back from Disasters, Scandals, and Other Emergencies. This is a special edition of the Crisis Management Minute. According to recent news reports, the once eradicated polio virus has been detected in two major cities. Today, I'll discuss the five best practices that business leaders should follow when responding to this unfolding situation. The national headlines last week that the polio virus has been spotted again in London and New York were a wake-up call for business executives. You never know when or where the next crisis will come from. That's why companies should always be ready for a crisis that could damage their brand, image, and bottom line. Just think back to the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. How prepared were you for that unexpected crisis? Based on the return of the polio virus and the lessons learned from the pandemic, here are five crisis management best practices all companies should implement. 1. Identify and address potential crisis triggers. 2. Create or update your crisis management plan. 3. Test your plan on a regular basis. 4. Appoint a crisis management team before they're needed. And 5. Make sure you have the resources that will be necessary to respond to any crisis. Health experts blame recent cases of polio on declining polio vaccination rates. It's too early to tell whether the disease will make a serious comeback or how it could impact your business. But why wait to find out? Play it safe and apply the five best practices to protect your company from this and other potential crisis situations. On the next episode of the Crisis Management Minute, I'll explain when and how to apologize for your role in causing a business crisis. Remember, it's not if your brand, company, or organization will have a crisis, but when. And the sooner you are prepared for it, the better.